Longer lasting bridges, that's the potential benefit of a new carbon fiber reinforced polymer, which has brought together the state of Michigan, academia and the private sector. And today it brought the governor to Detroit to learn more about the innovation. Reinforced steel has traditionally been used in bridge building, but steel corrodes, especially here in Michigan, where salt keeps us going during the winter and corroding steel leads to crumbling concrete. Carbon fiber isn't affected by the salt, it resists corrosion. This is about a longer lasting material that reduces our costs in the future. The state has invested in this innovation using carbon fiber in the new bridge on eight mile over Plum Creek. That project should be wrapped up and open to traffic in the next few weeks. Lawrence Technological University is partnering with the state to monitor the material once it's in place. So we just look at the web page that's collecting all the data, download them and start plotting time versus strain, time versus load, time versus deflection. And the beauty about this, go back to the drawing board and compare those results with what we did a couple of years ago. The carbon fiber used in this project was manufactured by Tokyo Rope. The Michigan Economic Development Corporation is working with the company to bring their North American carbon fiber production factory to Michigan. Carbon fiber is one of those materials that's going to lead the way. It isn't just in bridges as it's being done here so splendidly, but it's in automobiles, it's in aerospace, it's across the board in terms of advanced materials. So we're very excited about being able to get ultimately the factory here and begin to produce carbon fiber. Governor Snyder says this partnership shows the state's commitment to using technology to improve our transportation system, but greater investment is ultimately needed. But at the end of the day, all of this takes money. And as we look forward about how do we manage this entire system all across the state, it's going to take increased funding. And, and that's where we have to put, take our hats off to Governor Snyder for really leading the charge to increase the funding for our infrastructure. To learn more about Michigan's infrastructure funding crisis, including how MDOT is maximizing efficiencies with innovations like carbon fiber, go to michigan.gov roadfunding.